day 44, becoming Christopher Cruz. I just deleted our chats. Oh my God, I have like <laughs> a little bit of anxiety. <sighs> so every time I open up Instagram and I go to the messages, like every time my ex-girlfriend's profiles are both, both there because I don't message a lot of people on Instagram, so they're still high up. And so every time I open Messenger and Instagram, I see her and says, active, one hour ago, active now, do the green little dot. So I just opened up my messages in Messenger and it had for her business profile, the green little dot. And I'm just like thinking, does she see that I'm on? Is she thinking about messaging me? Every time I get on and I see her profile, that's the thought that goes through my head. And it makes me sad. And it makes me angry because she's not messaging me but like secretly in the back of my mind I'm just like hoping that I see the little typing bubble pop up and she's sending me a message and it uh, never happens so I just torture myself and fuck myself over and being in the space of power right now I was like all right I'm gonna delete them oh even just saying that ugh, it's like a pit in my stomach uh, um, because deleting those is kind of like deleting our past. Like, to me, those messages, they mean a lot. But then at the same time, all those messages are just lies. Because our whole relationship was based on a lie. So it's not really even authentic. Like, I don't even want to look back through the messages because it's all just a lie to me which sucks and so I deleted the messages that she sent personally and I deleted the messages that she sent from her business so now they're gone so now when I open Instagram I will not see her stuff pop up at all I had to like swipe over to delete and then unswipe and swipe like a few times <laughs> um, yeah now the real doozy is Facebook Messenger, because that's how we've communicated like 98% of the time. That's the one that I'm just not at that level yet. I am not that angry or pissed off at her or over it to, to be able to do that. I just got a message from Messenger and I got this little bit of excitement because I thought maybe it'd be her and it wasn't. God, this is, does everyone go through this shit? in a breakup, I know I'm not the only one, I can't be the only one, but it's like torture. It really is torture. I get why you block people on social media because then you never have to go through that torture of like getting a message and thinking it might be them. So I guess the next level of disconnection is me deleting our messages, which is, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever do that because Although our relationship was a lie, I don't think our love was a lie, and I know our chemistry was not a lie. And there's so many things in those messages, so many really good memories and spiritual stuff and connecting with each other and inspiring each other and lifting each other up. Like, yeah, it's not all bullshit. It's, that's not fair to say that. So I probably will never delete them. And I do believe that we'll be in each other's lives again. And I think that I would regret doing that. My ego's like, yeah, fuck that, delete them. But my heart is like, you don't need to do that. I needed to delete the ones on Instagram so I stopped seeing her freaking shit pop up. And we just don't have very many messages on there. But yeah, Facebook, no. No, I don't need to. I don't fucking care what anyone else says. I know what my heart says and my heart says, you don't need to go there. So. That's nice. But I think I just keep, I need to just keep taking baby steps towards progress. Because I don't need to be all fucked up about this relationship for the next month or anything like that. I can take my power back the moment I decide. And if I just keep taking actions to take my power back, I will have it back. And that's what I want and that's what I deserve and 
I am really fucking powerful. I know that. And now that I've got all this energy that I used to give to her in our relationship, I can put it back into me, which makes me even more powerful. Which means I have even more momentum, more ability to manifest shit and attract amazing things to me. So I just need to keep taking action and doing things that keep me in this vibration, in this emotion, and I'll be fucking golden. All right, word.